What's up guys? I'm gonna give you some very valuable piece of information. How to almost never, how to never get busted by the cops. I'm Sean and this video is brought to you by Jesus Christ. Without him, this video wouldn't have been made. Actually, nothing, nothing here would have been made. All right, guys, so how to not get busted by the cops. Rule number one, know your surroundings. And this is pretty important with almost everything in life. Anytime you're doing anything, you got to know your surroundings. Places like this, it, there are places that cops can sit. Cops can be behind you, be in front of you. They, they, they can get you like in the city or, or on the highway or something like that. That it's kind of a gamble. You know that you're like, well, I could get busted. I, could, I might not get busted. And I'm not talking about like super, super excessively speeding. I'm talking about the level of speeding that motorcyclists just kind of always do. Mainly because we're looking at the road and trying to keep up with traffic and not spending all of our time down here looking at the speedometer that, you know what I mean? It's two different things. This is me actually being safe. This is me looking to see if I'm breaking the law. So it's kind of a, it's kind of a design, it's not really a design flaw, it's just kind of how it is, but you can't look at traffic and be constantly checking out your thing. And when you have, when you have a bike that's pretty quick, you know, you can go from zero to 60 in less than three seconds. So you gotta know your surroundings. When you're on some back road, so if you're, if let's say you're gonna, you're gonna relax a little bit, not be super maintained about super into how fast you're going or whether you're going the speed limit, there's places you can do it. Roads like this, no way, man. There could be a cop there, there could be a cop there, a cop there, a cop there. There's all these places that cops could be sitting and they're just trying to do their job. They're not out to get you. They're just doing their job. But places like back roads where there's no one around, you can see everything. You don't really gotta worry about that. show you what I mean all right so right here you can see from here to like a quarter mile no one's over here no one's over here no one's behind you no one's in front of you now over that little hill right there I don't know I don't know what's happening so if I decide to take the, the risk and and fly over this hill hey there could be something over there there could be a horse and buggy there could be the police who knows so you got to know your surroundings. There are places that we all know you can get away with fudging the speed limit a little bit. Maybe going like 36 in a 35. Like what I'm doing right now. When there's nothing but when you're on the highway or in the city or some place where just you know a cop could be on the on the on ramp, on the off ramp, sitting behind a bridge, sitting in a ditch, you know what I mean? You're just taking a gamble. It's easy, you know, you're just, you're not being smart. Another thing, another big thing, we've all heard this before, track days. And you're thinking, you're like, so the best way for me to not get busted by the police is to go even faster on the track? Well, kind of. When you're riding on the track, you get it out of your system. You change the way you ride on the street. And what I mean by that is, you realize what it's like to ride in a perfect case, just perfect scenario, perfect situation where no cars, no washouts, no telephone poles, no trees, just you and going as fast as you want to. And that's pretty, uh, and when you, once you get used to that, it's really hard to go back to really hitting it hard on the street. You just kind of, you think, you think differently. That's one thing. Number three, and okay, and just, uh, just to reference this, I should have said this before, I'm not bragging 
Okay, I have never, and this could happen anytime. I can get pulled over anytime, I'll admit it. I have n I've not been busted by the police on a motorcycle. And because I, because I do these things, but I've, I've been pulled over by the cops when I was a kid and rent a car, and I feel like I learned my lessons. I'm not, I am absolutely not bragging about like I'm avoiding the police or anything like that. One, if you get pulled over, if you, if you see those blue lights behind you, you pull over. Do not risk running from the cops. I don't care if you can do it. I don't care if your bike is faster than the cops. Of course your bike's faster than the cops. It's not worth the risk. Okay, so you got you got to compare risk versus reward. What's the reward? You don't pay a ticket. Okay, so so maybe you saved a couple hundred bucks. That's the reward. What's the risk? You go to jail for a couple months. You go to jail for a year. You you possibly die. Is that? It just doesn't make sense. Your 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 best best chance is you gain a story, and a, you save a couple hundred bucks. Your worst case scenario, you die or you go to jail for a while. It just doesn't make sense. So never run from the cops. Two, I'm not bragging. I'm just stating the facts and showing you guys. If you think about it, you can avoid getting busted. Now the third one. The third one's a pretty big deal. I'm not always riding super sport bikes on the road. If I was, I would probably find myself uh, exceeding the speed limit a little more often. So, I mean, I, I got I got a shot full of bikes. I got tons of fast bikes. Uh, I love riding fast bikes, but I normally, I'm not always riding them. My, my main driver, my car, my 2008 Expedition, I drive that all the time. It's not a fast vehicle. If every single one of your vehicles are super fast and you can just accidentally be going like five times the speed limit and you don't even notice it, you're gonna get points. You're gonna you're gonna get busted. It's gonna happen because everywhere you go, you're 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 going fast. It, you can't help it. So my main point is, have a vehicle that's just kind of a normal vehicle. And I'm not saying I'm, I'm saying in and in addition to your bike. In addition to your Super Sport, your GSX-R1000, your Ducati 1299 Panigale. You know, have another vehicle that's a regular vehicle. Because most of the time, I'm just, I'm, I'm cruising, I'm not thinking about going fast. So, you break laws in another, in a regular vehicle that aren't speeding. Because speeding is going to take away your license. That's going to take away your job, your life, your girlfriend, your everything. You know, go rob a bank somewhere, but do break some other laws in a regular vehicle. That's all I'm trying to say. Okay, disclaimer. I'm not, don't, I'm just joking. Don't be breaking any laws. Don't be robbing any banks. Don't do those things. So, those are my three main points. One, and then here's the fourth one. Here's the biggest one of all. If you want to never get busted by the cops, you could just not speed. Just to throw it out there. I'm just throwing it out there. You could just not speed. So, what do you do if you do get busted by the cops? Well, one, you be nice. Oh, okay, here's another thing. Make sure your bike is legit. Your bike is legal. You got tags on. Those tags are valid. Your registration. Don't, don't give them any more. You got to be above reproach. Don't give them any more reasons to give you more tickets. Also, know where you're driving. If you're in Georgia and you get busted doing like, I think it's double or anything over, actually anything over 85 in Georgia, you got a super speeder. Do it with Dan knows all about that. You got a super speeder ticket. I think it's like 800 bucks, an additional 800 bucks. I used to live, I used to live in Georgia. That's a big deal. Also, if you're in Virginia and you get over 80, you ne never get busted in Virginia over 80. It's a huge fine. Where was I at? Um, getting back to where, if you do get busted by the cops, you, all right, so police officers are regular people. They're just like you and me 
if you get pulled over by the cops, you just gotta be nice to them. I'm not saying like being nice is gonna get you get you off the ticket or off whatever crime you committed, but it's not it's not gonna hurt. If you, but if you're if you're mean to those guys, they're gonna their their guards gonna step up. You know what I mean? If you're offending them, they're gonna get offended. They're gonna they're gonna throw it all at you. They're gonna give you every possible fine they could find. You know, a piece of hair falls off your head. They're gonna bust you for littering because they can. They can do that. You could fight it, of course. But you you have no idea how being nice to someone is just. That, that could that could change the whole situation so you know and you know be genuinely nice they're just doing their job that's it so guys I hope that helps especially for you young guys out there you think you're gonna speed all over the place you're watching videos of the guys just doing stupid stupid miles and trust me those guys are getting those guys are getting caught those guys are definitely getting caught and uh, you don't want to lose your license. If you're trying to live a normal life in society, you still need to have a driver's license. All right, guys, I want you to subscribe. I want to keep on doing these uh, these moto vlogs. It's a lot of fun, and uh, we'll see you guys later. Subscribe below. Check out our other videos on the Bikes and Beards channel, and also check out. Our main channel, SRK Cycles, where we sell motorcycles. We ship them all over the country. Um, our prices are insane. We have about 80 bikes right now. All right, guys. We'll see you guys later. Hey, guys. This is Sean for Bikes and Beards, and I will never reveal my face. Click here to subscribe. Click here to watch more videos.